Hello, and welcome back to the drawing incredibly bad, badly series. It's not that bad, right? We're, you know, getting better. Are we getting better? Yeah. I no, know, that's not. that's the problem with this series. I don't think we're actually improving. I think it would be all worth it if we actually improved our skills, but I don't think we are. Yeah, just, now I feel now I feel bad. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to feel even worse when we actually get drawing. <laughs> Today, we're going to be drawing idioms. Now, if you looked at the title of this video and thought, what on earth is an idiom? You know what an idiom is. You probably just didn't recognize the word idiom itself. So an idiom is a group of words that has a meaning that has nothing to do with the words that you just used. So that sounds <laughs> kind of complicated. But if you say over the moon, you don't actually mean I'm flying over the moon literally, you mean you're really happy. So those words don't like make sense on their own over the moon, but the meaning is completely different. So that's what an idiom is. There's loads of them like the cat's out of the bag or uh, help me, Tortoise. Well, I don't want to say any of the ones I have on my... Because nope, that's the only ones I can think of now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to say the, the ones I have that I'm going to draw. <laughs> okay, so Tortoise and I have got three idioms each, and we're going to attempt to draw them, and then we have to guess what idiom it is at the end of the round. Make sense? I've chosen particularly British ones to try oh, and catch no. Tortoise off guard. <laughs> Yeah, it's really hard when you get like the cultural different idioms. Like, if you got one like one from like Japan, it'd make no sense because if you translate a word for word, you'd be like, "What? What does that mean?" Right? Well, there was one earlier. You said "cheap as chips," and you're like, "Why? What?" But in Britain, yeah. like, you know, chips are really cheap, so that's kind of the phrase. So that one I didn't yeah. really understand. Is that the you didn't pick that one, right? Is that no, it? I didn't pick that, that one. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right, so while I actually pick these out, I actually like imagined in my head what I'd want to draw beforehand. So I'm not just stuck here while I'm drawing like, oh, what do I do? Are you proud of me, Glenn? That, that is the smartest thing I think you've ever done. In, in my life? In, in, ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. In the history of me existing. Have I peaked as a human? I think that's it. I think, yeah, I think this is it. You should retire. <laughs> I thought ahead. I wonder if people could. I think mine, like at this point, you can def. I think you can get it. It's not like clear, but you could probably get some. I solid think you could also there. get mine. I don't know. You're it's still kind, kind of, of obscure. You don't know mine. Uh, or do I see all green? <laughs> How do you know mine? <laughs> <laughs> you just like you look behind you. You see me in the window. <laughs> Dude, that would freak <laughs> me out. <laughs> I've considered doing a video of just my cat. That would get millions of views. <laughs> Do I it. just like Maui in particular just has the oddest he just has the oddest personality of a cat I've ever seen in my life. Maybe he's not a cat. He was like a feral fox or something. He's got he's got some really weird traits. He has an obsession with water. And when I say obsession He's he won't like sit in a bathtub, but he will when you turn the tap on run from wherever he is in the house full speed, jump, leap in the basin and start attacking the water immediately. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you are in the house. He then charges at you. He's protecting He's you. He's so weird. From the He's evil water demon. Water. And like you have to imagine like I'm in the bathroom, right? And I'm on the toilet doing my business and he comes in and he's like, "Ah, oh taps there he will jump in the sink and he'll look at me and look at the tap look at me and look at the tap he will wait until i turn it on for him <laughs> just to entertain him he's got a real problem with the tap i don't i don't get it I, mean, I know some cats some cats are water loving aren't they yeah but he really is weird i mean that's that's a good thing i guess you don't want the ones who like hate the water and then like they get sinking you can't wash them yeah exactly yeah i'm finished by the way what yeah, I'm finished. How? Oh. I've, I've actually been finished a while. What did you draw? An idiom. Oh. Do you add yeah, shade, shading, huh? I could add some shading. Yeah, add some shading, Green. Why don't you just add some shading? That'll buy me like an extra like 20 minutes. 
I reckon you'll get this fairly quickly. All right. Okay. So I see you. That's pretty good. That's you. Yeah. Right. That's me. Um, That's me. You look surprised. A little baffled. No, I didn't look so baffled or yeah, shocked. Shocked. Um, there's a guy with stealing something, a bag of something. Yes. Yes. There's lightning, a thundercloud pointing at the bag, a bag of lightning. Yes. Yes. So what's the idiom? Running away with a bag of lightning? No. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not. That's not an idiom. That's not an idiom. That's what this is. That's what I'm looking at, Korean. Running away with a bag of lightning. Come on, you've identified what it is, even though it shouldn't technically be. Because I'm thinking visible. like catching lightning in a bottle, but that's not what this All is. All right, yeah. I know it's lightning, but what's the other word that you can use for the noise? Squiggly lines. No, li lightning. <laughs> Running away with squiggly Light lines. Lightning is the bit that you see. What's the word for the what you hear? The Thunder. Noise. Thunder. That's what it's supposed Thunder. to be. But obviously, I can't draw a sound. Not with that attitude. <laughs> go on, go on. You can okay. get this. So he's stealing thunder. Oh, stealing yes. thunder! Stealing thunder! Stealing yeah. someone's thunder! Stealing thunder! <laughs> I did agree in. All by myself. You did it! Hey, pal. All by yourself without any help at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. He is stealing someone's thunder. Oh, I got it. And that's why you're you like, oh no, it. my thunder's been stolen. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> dude, where's my Zeus bolt gone? I like your teeny little hands. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, come on, show me yours. Okay. All right, voila. I honestly thought that I would get this instantly, and I haven't. It's a it's a common one. Groundbreaking. No. Oh. Well, I mean that's a, that's a good guess. Good guess. Uh. So all right, so we got a road. Yep. Yeah. We got a, a man You're on the punching right. the road. You're on the right. Definitely on the Hit right the floor. Track. No, you now you're getting colder. Uh, you, you were really, you hit like all the right words. On the road? Hitting the road. Oh, oh hitting the road. Yeah. Hitting the road. Hitting the road. Hit the road. Hitting the road. Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> that is that's quite an American one. So well done. Is it? That is a, that's yeah, that's that is a quite an American one when you know your your you dad says Come on, guys, we're gonna hit the road. Yeah. We do not say that on the oh, hall. My dad used to sit all the time, dude. So, no. so okay. Glad we he mostly say, like, we better get going. Better, we better like get that. going. <laughs> so much less exciting. <laughs> so much yeah, more I, joyful. I don't... Like, let's hit the road, guys. Hit the road. Yeah. And there's a bunch of British people punching the tarmac. <laughs> this, is, this guy's really hitting the road. Oh, Are you ready? Yeah, I got, my, I got my next one. All right. Round two. Idioms. I'm gonna make another let's, layer. Let's go. Here we go. I need to, I need to draw another me. <laughs> Are you gonna Maybe be in all I of should... them? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the the subject of all of them. But I'm actually going to like this time. I'm gonna actively make myself look really weird. Have you ever been recognized in public? Once from YouTube. Once. Well, I mean, like you mean like not at a convention, right? Yeah, not at a convention, like out yeah. and about. Yeah, once at a movie theater. Ooh, just like some random guy said, "Hey." Yeah, after the movie, I guess he was in the same theater as me. <laughs> One kid. Did he? What he's did like, they say? Like, oh, hey, tortoise, like your videos. And he's like left. <laughs> I, I didn't even get to say anything. He's just like after that, I was like, "What?" And I turned around, and he's gone. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so disappointing because you would have liked to have like. Yeah, I was like, what? Hello. Said hello. I've been recognized a few times. Really? Where? Yeah, quite a few, actually. Um, I got recognized in Japan by a German girl <laughs> <laughs> on the train. Oh, wow. I was on the train, and just this, this, yeah, this girl came up to me and was like, this is going to sound really weird, but are you agree? And I was like, yeah. And I, I sort of chatted to her for a bit, and... It was just so bizarre. My friend was like, this is so weird. He doesn't do YouTube or anything like that, so he was just like, this is so strange. You're like, <laughs> you're like yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm madder. <laughs> and I, no, I was like, 
yeah, this is weird for me too because it doesn't happen very often. Now that was the first time. It wasn't even in my own country and it wasn't someone that was in the country I was visiting either. So it was a very yeah. weird situation. But anyway, yeah, that was the first time that I, I met a fan. And the second time was actually I went to an event, right? But I managed to get recognized by someone that didn't even go to the event. Like, we went to uh, a tourist spot, we went to the Giant's Causeway, and there was a Dutch family there, and uh, people that uh, are YouTubers will know what I'm talking about here, but when you're out and about, there's like some sort of sixth sense where you can tell when someone's watching you, right? Like, you can just tell when someone's like staring at you, like trying to, trying to work, suss you out. Even if it isn't anything to do with YouTube, you can kind of yeah. get that, right? Yeah. And I, I immediately clocked that this person lit up, got their phone to check if it was me. Because obviously I don't show <laughs> my face very much. Yeah. They were like checking that it was me. And then as we were leaving the restaurant, uh, they said, uh, oh, are you agreeing? Can I get a picture? And I was kind of taken aback that, and I feel really bad about this because they were so nice. And I feel like I didn't give them enough time of day. I kind of took a picture and I said, oh, it's nice to meet you, where you're from, and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't really, I feel like I didn't give them enough time. And I think that was because I'd been at an event at that. So I, I was, I don't know, I, I was sort of, I'd met a lot of people. So it wasn't the same in that, in that set. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, but they're probably just happy, we you know, with that just small, I don't know. Because I know I've, I've had that, like, experiences like that where, like, I've run into, like, someone, like, I've, like, known on the internet or, like, watch their videos i'm like oh hey like i like your stuff and like oh thanks man and then i just like leave and i don't know even like that small moment right there is just really cool i always think about well, i hope so if you're what if you're watching a uh, guy that i met in <laughs> in northern ireland uh hi nice <laughs> hi <laughs> all right i'm pretty much done I'm not sure what else I could do. If you don't get it, I'll just blame you for being dumb. <laughs> I might be able to get it. I'm smart. I'm good at these things. All right, you know, yeah, okay. I'll just leave it like this. We'll see if you get it. So this one, less colorful, but we'll see if you get it. Hey, have you seen Jimmy around? Lost in thought. Oh, per wow. That was you nailed boom. it. And I was, I was so boom. worried. I'm like, oh, does it make sense? Boom. Oh, my, dude. Boom. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Now I'm nervous. To, I should have went sec. Oh, well, dang it. Right. Now if on. I don't this get one, yours right this away. One's, this one's going to be tough. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Told you it involved what poop. I, what am I looking at? Okay, well, that's me. Okay, I'm just gonna examine it literally for a second. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's two pieces of turds who look really yes. happy with fishing poles who are trying yes. to fish something out of your hair. No. They trying to fish you? Is or did they so, catch you? So when you, when you fish, what do you say you did to the fish? Caught the fish. Yeah, you caught it. Okay. So they, they caught a green. So, catching a green, green is that say say this the whole scenario in one. So green is green is <laughs> being caught by poop. <laughs> what? Almost, almost. There's there's two of them for a reason. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Um, well, I mean, a lot of my guesses. I feel like I can't say. I don't know. <laughs> it, it doesn't involve swearing. <laughs> Do you want me to give you a bit more hint? Yeah, I need more hints. I need more hints. Okay, okay. So there's a similar saying that involves rocks. Rocks. About, and a hard place. about fishing for rocks? Who fishes for no, no, rocks? No. Similar saying. They're just involving... laying there. You just pick them oh. up, Green. Come on, rock and a hard place. You know that saying. Yeah, caught between a rock and a hard place. Caught between okay, two stools. Okay, so Green caught between. Well, we say caught between two stools. Caught between two stools? Yeah, a stool is a is a turd. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard that before. That's a new one to me. Caught between two, two stools. stools. Okay. Meaning it doesn't matter what what you do, 
you've got a bad situation either side. <laughs> I see. Same as same as caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, okay. Neither of them is very good. Oh, okay. See, the rock and the hard place one. I've never heard this variation before. That's an interesting take on it. <laughs> I didn't know how to show being caught. So they're fishing. So it's like you're caught between two stools. It's like, oh, yeah, I, ca I caught a big one this time. I could have also drawn a literal stool, like, you know, what you sit on. Oh, I still wouldn't have got it. I have never heard this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, you got mine so fast. Instantly, I would say. That means I did a better job. Right? Poss, yeah, I, I mean, guess. Isn't so that pops I'm to smarter? me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that means I <laughs> mine was more clear. All right, whatever. Mine is subjective. All right, next one. Okay. You know, YouTube is really, like, it's obviously still in its infancy. It's not, it's not very old. And it's like what, like nine long... years old or something? Yeah, that's not very long for like. Yeah. I mean, and it hasn't been. I mean, you think about it. Two thousand and twelve, a hundred thousand subscribers was an insane amount of subs. That's yeah, yeah. That was like huge back then. That was like the exactly. Stuff. So, it's really, really changed a lot. But like, I feel, I feel like there's a lot of things that haven't been discussed yet that a lot of YouTubers go through. Yeah, like definitely. F for example, like, part of being a... Lots of people, like, mock YouTube as a job. They say, oh, is, YouTube's not a job. Well, it is. It is a job. It's just an odd one. Yeah. Not many people do it. But, like, there's, there's certain things that YouTubers have to do in order to sort of maintain themselves. Like, for example, in... I don't know if this is the same for everyone. Obviously, everyone's different. But um, for me, part of YouTube is, like, maintaining my own happiness. Yep. Like, because if I'm not happy, I'm not going to make content that I'm happy with. It's, it's kind of difficult to explain. And as soon as you start, like, forcing yourself to make videos... It, re that... it reflects on the video, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. And... I mean, one thing that I've done recently to, to try and, like, keep keep myself happy, and this is it sounds weird because for us, like, gaming YouTubers, now, I, d I can't speak for everyone, but I don't get out a lot. Like, I spend a lot of time inside gaming <laughs> because that's what I do. And because I work from home, I don't exercise a lot. So sitting sitting down all day is, you know, it's not that good for me and it's not good for my well-being. And over time, we're talking, like, two years... I really started to notice that my body wasn't doing as well. Uh, and it, I think that's sort of something that isn't really talked about in like on YouTube or at all. Like there's lots of weird things and I don't know, it's, it's very complicated. And I basically now pay a guy to come around my house and make me exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I pay a guy to come around and hurt me. <laughs> I don't like it, but it's for my own well-being. <laughs> if we just keep doing this series for like 20 more years, do you think we'll get any better? You know what, now that I'm thinking about, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it'll just be 20 years of this, of this, this. Actually, you know what I'm drawing right now, I'm pretty happy about. But at, at what point do we call it the Drawing Reasonably Well series? Yeah. And then it goes, <laughs> Drawing Quite Well series. Yeah, we just keep updating the Draw title. <laughs> drawing... Yeah, pretty damn good. Drawing like, whoa, these guys are getting pretty Draw Drawing pretty like good. professionals. <laughs> the best drawings you've ever seen. <laughs> and then let's go back to drawing terribly once we take a break. Drawing stop terribly. Doing. Stop kidding yourself. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Art's just one of those things, like, if you put the work in, like, you get really good. It just takes a lot of practice. And it's hard, man. Yeah. Why can't I just like, like, in the, like just download like a floppy disk into my forehead and, and learn and be great artist, next Picasso. That's what I, I know that um, when people say, "Oh, you're really you're like you're naturally talented," I'm not naturally talented. Worked hard for it. I learned how <laughs> to do this stuff. Yeah. I practiced hard. Like you can definitely pick up things quicker than others, 
but you're never like just naturally talented. You just learn stuff. Yeah, it's not like we're not good at drawing because you know we've never actually put in the work to like really improve like the other artists. Yeah, we have. don't deserve. Yeah. We don't deserve to be good artists. Yeah, we definitely anyway. don't. But that, yeah, that's just, it makes you appreciate, like, you know, the artists who are really good even more. Just seeing, like, all the I work must, they put into it. I must it. admit, though, sometimes I feel like I'm regressing. I, I, would at least, I would at least like to be a bit better. Right? Or, like, see some progress from the start, but I just don't feel it. It's not linear. Like, it's like a roller coaster. It goes up and down on sometimes, you know. Sometimes I have good days and bad days. Depends what we're drawing. <laughs> yeah, definitely depends what we're drawing. 100%. If it involves like feet or hands, fingers, forget it, dude. Yeah, forget it. Forget any, about any it. Any human limbs, forget it. <laughs> yeah, forget. Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. All right, I think I'm done. Are you? All right, hold on. Yeah. I mean, the main bit is is done. You think that makes you better than me? A little bit, yeah. Oh. All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, here you go. No, it's kitty scorpion. It's it's meant to be a cat. It's meant to be a cat. I didn't it's do very well. It's the cat <laughs> scorpion. It's ter what is that? The, the, I know, I know the tail. And I really gave up. But look at the birds, dude. Look at the yeah, birds. Says, Focus on the birds. There's like two front feet on each side, and I just have a long tail. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop picking it apart. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's cat in the middle, pigeons. Yes. And then there's sh a green yeah. shop in the background. You're about as warm as you could be. Surrounded by pigeons. Well, you're, you're kind of there, but let me describe a scene scenario to you and maybe you'll be able to get it to you. So, like, you're in a pub. Alright. In a bar. And you're with your mates. My friends. And then you see another another group of friends that are kind of like in your extended circle, right? But you don't, you're not that close. Right. They're doing their own thing. You see someone enter the bar or the or the pub or whatever that you know everybody hates. Yeah? Okay. That they no one gets on with them. They're an undesirable person. And you see them walk up to the other to the other group and go, Oh, you're right, chaps. Now, what would you say? Like, now look at the picture and be like, what is that? Oh, that cat scorpion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh why my do I bother? <laughs> <laughs> why why <laughs> do I bother? <laughs> That's just a cat scorpion surrounded by a gang of pigeons right there, if I tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Did I get it? No. Right, it, it doesn't sound very British at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, alright, okay. you can get it. It's cat, pigeons, bird. You're, you're basically pigeons. there, but try and imagine it as an idiom. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? I don't think I'm ever gonna get it. I give up. Okay. I don't think I you, know. Well, it. you came pretty close just pr I? from saying what it is. You might, you would say, you know, that person walked up to the group, you'd, you'd like lean over to your mate and be like, look, the cat's among other pigeons. What? <laughs> The cats People among don't the say pigeons. that. Yes, they do. People's... The cats among pigeons. What does that even mean? The... Or you throw the cat among the pigeons, or the cat among the pigeons. What's like that? it means that there's a group of, you know, people that are having a great time, or whatever, just doing their thing, and then a cat turns up, and a cat obviously chases pigeons, so it's like they've caused a disturbance. <laughs> Oh, okay. I see. So like, imagine you've got a cage of mice right. and you just throw a, a throw a cat in there. It's gonna break all hell loose, right? Because they don't like hanging together. They got differences. Because the cat's gonna eat the mice. Yeah. Same with the pigeons. Yeah, they got differences. Well, you did get what you did. Um, you did say pigeons straight away. I didn't have to tell you what bird it was. Yeah. I was confused what the orange creature was. Oh, it's a cat <laughs> scorpion. What do you think it is? <laughs> I must admit, the cat among the pigeons is a very, very the British cat among term. The pigeons. But it makes sense, right? Yeah, it makes sense. All right, come on then. Let's see yours. Let's see your perfect one. I did choose ones that I knew you would struggle with, to be fair. And I actually chose a fourth one that 
I don't know if you would get, but I I'll tell I'll, I'll tell you after after you we've seen yours. I've chosen ones Let's that, you, you know, I figured you'd get, that you'd know. Because I'm a nice guy And like that's that. the difference between me and you. I like to see you suffer, Cynic. and you like to see me succeed. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> alright, alright, fine. Here. Feast your eyes. Saved by the bell. Oh, see, look. <laughs> we spent so much less time on my drawings. I forgot to draw the color of his feet. Bada bit ba boom. What the? <laughs> we just spent so much, so much time looking at yours, talking about your dry. We're like, am I? No, it's just, it's saved by the bell. All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> Only because of that it's TV show fair. literally called Saved by the Bell. Oh, that's, that's dumb TV show, huh? <laughs> it's because it's, it's good drawing, too. It's, it's a good drawing. And there's something like super obscure about, like, cats and, like, pigeons. Yeah, I know. Okay, it was it was a tough one, and the, the the fourth one that I had is bust one's chops or busting your chops. Oh, that one I know. You should use that you one. You do? I know busting your chops. Yeah. Man, he's re he's really busting my chops. Yeah. Up I was gonna have a guy like with a pickaxe like getting someone's cheek or something. I don't know. I, that one I could have maybe gotten for sure, but the other two I didn't know. So. <sighs> Damn. I should have gone. I should have gone for busting one's chops. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you now know what an idiom is and enjoyed don't. watching us draw terribly what they are. I thought I did. And, I... and after seeing yours, now I'm just confused, Green. <laughs> thank you very much for watching everyone. Goodbye.